I have been gestalting for some time. Gestalting comes from gestalt, a German word. It means something more than praying and meditating. It's actually taking in consideration various factors. It's similar to the word Gestapo. But Gestapo wasn't really a word, it was an acronym. It was a negative thing, a bad thing. Gestalt is a good thing. Gestapo was founded by Göring, and they are both German words. Gestapo was uh, rigidly a hierarchy, and that is Gestapo, was rig rigidly a, a hierarchy. While Gestalt is anti-hierarchy, is anti-hierarchical. It is the sum of thinking, observing, meditating, praying. Uh, it has many representations forms and ideas. It's the sum of concepts, paradigms, forms and situations and circumstances. All of these things put together and make up a gestalt. The German language is rich of single words that can describe a variety of things. I don't know German and I don't understand it, but I know a few words. Not as much as Spanish and French, of course. I can understand French and Spanish, but I can't understand German. Anyway, this gestalting was done in a solitary manner, as usual. I'm a maverick. I did this praying and meditating and observing and thinking, thinking and observing, i.e. gestalting uh, or gestalting in a solitary way, all by myself with the help, of course, of the eternal creator of all. And the outcome of gestalting is always superior to the totality of the isolated items or elements. So whatever you come out with your gestalting is always superior to the singular elements and items you have, you have analyzed. My gestalting was mainly focused on uh, who are we what are we? Where do we come from? Where are we going after death? And uh, why have we been catapulted into this nightmare we have been thrown into uh, being? As Heidegger put it, we have been catapulted into this nightmare, and that is my own personal expression, without our consent. Or maybe there was a consent and we weren't aware of. Or maybe God wouldn't have put us into, uh, into being, into living, without knowing in advance that we would have accepted. Because he would surely have shown us uh, eternal life and the bliss that we would be having at the end. My gestalting also was focusing uh, on the problem of suffering. I have been seeing many people suffering in these uh, 30 years of uh, the mission and uh, in a terrible way. So it's a problem that I have been thinking of and, and praying uh, and seeing how it can be ex explained in a way. On top of the problem of suffering, there is finally the soteriology, uh, which means how we can be saved. Uh, what, what do you have to do, what do you have to be uh, to become uh, saved, to have eternal bliss? And that is meant not in this life, but in the afterlife. Or maybe we are already uh, saved at the end. So let us pr pray that the eternal creator of all can uh, illuminate each one of us to know these important things. I noticed that there are very few people who concentrate on these points. Most people just get along with life, with their own thing, and they just embrace uh, whatever religion they were born into, or whatever group or religion or sect or uh, thought they like of their choice, or of their fashion, what they fancy, without actually inventing their own ideas, because it needs a lot of uh, creativity and gestalting and courage 
and uh, a gift. It's a gift from above. Not everyone has this courage, this gift of inventing uh, his own religion, inventing a new religion, a new uh, way of thought. Very, very few people around the world uh, have the courage and the creativity to do that. The Gnostics were very rich in that. Each uh, Gnostic was a, a religion by itself. So let us pray that each one of us will be illuminated directly by God, directly by the eternal creator of all, which of course I believe is the Lord Jesus. May glory be to him forever. Amen.